Okay, so we're going to continue on working with the FK ARM system now, and what we're going to be doing in this lesson is setting up the um, twist setup for these in-between joints. Uh, we're going to have to change a little bit of how the rig is set up right now. Not the rig necessarily, but the skeleton. And we're going to have to reparent these a little bit differently to get the twist to work properly. Uh, because if we don't, we get a cycle error warning and it will um, basically give us like doubled rotations on top of each other. So what we want to do is take the twist joints and push shift P. So I selected all the twist joints and I guess I have to select that. So we have to do the same thing up here, is select all these joints, shift P, and unparent them. Then what we're going to do is let's set up the um, parent constraint for the main rotation here. So for the main FK system, so we're going from the elbow to the shoulder. Then we're going to parent the wrist to the elbow. And we can go ahead and check that out. We have the rotations the way we would expect, expect them for the FK system. So now with these individual twist joints, they're going to be a little bit different than what we had in the other rig. What we're going to do is parent them to the parent section of the um, of that section. So we have the elbow and the shoulder. So all these twist joints are going to be parented to the um, shoulder. Then we have these three joints and they're all going to be parented to the elbow. And then now we can set up a constraint that will allow us to be able to get the twist rotations accurately between these two joints here. So um, I'm going to start off with the middle one. So we s select the shoulder, then the elbow, finally with the um, middle twist right here. And then we are going to make sure that we are in the rigging menu set, go to constraint, orient, let's look at the option box and let's reset this really quick. And the main change that we want to do is make sure that the rotation is to X rather than to um, all. Let's click apply and that rotated. So I'm going to undo that. Um, let's just make sure that we got maintain offsets turned on. There we go. And with the weights here, it's going to be uh, 0.5 and 0.5. Then let's repeat this process here and we'll do this joint here and apply. Then it's going to be weighted 0.25 towards the shoulder and 0.75 towards the elbow. Then we'll select both of these joints and do this one here. And then we will do apply. And then it's going to be the shoulder at 0.75 weight and the elbow at 0.25. So now when we rotate this, we should see a procedural or progressive, sorry, progressive rotation between the shoulder and the elbow. Now we'll repeat that same process here between these two joints. So I'm going to select, oops, make sure I don't have any rotations there. One, two, and that one, apply. Then towards the elbow, it's going to be 0 0.75 and 0 0.5. Then I'm going to select the elbow wrist and the middle twist joint. Apply. And technically we can leave it at one and one, but I like to keep my conventions constant. So I'm going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 
and then select these two joints select the third twist joint apply and this is going to be 0.25 towards the elbow and 0.75 towards the wrist and then now let's check this and we have the rotations working properly and then we should if we have all the con contr uh, controls selected and rotate them be able to get the rotations and the twist joints follow so that's great that is going to give us our um, twist setup for our FK um, arm here all right that's it for this lesson thank you very much we'll see you in the next one